Okay, we're doing something a little different today. And I'm with this uh, chicken noodle over here. Chicky. Oh, Look fine. who it is. This one. Hey. Say it with me. Give me a J. Okay, let's do that again. Give me a J. <laughs> Hey, 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 Mikey! I think this doll's winking at you. Oh, oh I think, God. I think I she's think she winking is. at you. That's the after two o'clock wink. <laughs> <laughs> it is Royal. Oh, it's Royal Hager. What? That's even better. How much is that? Well, I'm quite pleasantly surprised with this trip to Savers. So Savers might be getting back. Oh, they're naughty. They're naughty bunnies. Oh, they're naughty bunnies. Oh, those are amazing. <laughs> There's three of them at $2.99 each. Okay, we're getting those. Okay, what what was I saying? I was saying I'm pleasantly surprised at the amount of cool stuff on the saver shelves. And I got to tell you, their prices are right online with Goodwills now. So um, I guess we'll be adding savers back into the, the rotation. See, and that, that's good though. That means they, they listened or they watched their bottom line numbers and saw, hey, things aren't selling like we want them to sell. We might have to make some adjustments and they're doing it. It's kind of a beautiful piece, isn't it, you guys? Hmm. I'm torn on this one. Torn, torn, torn. But I think this will sell in the 20 to 25 range, so I'm going to grab it. And we've got a little glass apple jar in kind of a cubist pattern. It is $7, though. That will be the reason we'll leave that. What pattern is this? That's kind of fancy. Spall, Portugal, Palladio. Look at that. Hmm. Kind of schnazzy. As I see the cow creamer, this is a fairly generic one. What you want to be on the lookout for is the Pioneer Woman cow creamer. Oh my goodness, those sell really, really good. That says something England. Handmade. I think that says England, right? And then there's like a maker's mark. $3.99? I love to explore new things. We're gonna get it. Oh, you've got to be bananas. I am. That, that's, that's just bananas. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Who does that? CM. That's fantastic. Right? Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, what are you, little piggy? He's got a silicone, silicone, silicone body. Zuni. He's a Zuni pig. Do not microwave. Hand wash only. I'm going to have to figure out what a Zuni pig is. I couldn't find this exact guy in my quick little lookup, but uh, it does appear to be a really good brand. So for five bucks, we're going to learn more about Zuni. What are these cute little guys? Look at that little sauce. Little baby crocs? They're little little sauce pour things. I wonder if Noah would like one of those. I bet, it, are they all together? Is it the whole thing for three ninety? dollars No, come on, Savers wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking, a little melted butter thing. You know what, I'm gonna get one of those for Noah. This is a cute little lusterware set. I'm not sure what their original purpose was. Oh, that's got two handles. Is that a creamer? Oh, it is a creamer and sugar. Oh, is it $3.99 each though? Yeah, that, that kind of spoils it. Can't pay eight. Could have paid four. Ooh, it's watermelon glass, which is just a name given to these pieces of glass that have the green and the red, but it's really super popular on uh, eBay. I gotta tell you. Even though it's not real high quality glass, it's, it's a little more than I'd like to pay, but 
It's really pretty. We're going to grab it. Oh, is that another one of those Deneen potteries? I just bought one yesterday. Of the same one? Yeah, Deneen, not the same on. one. No, it was different because they make them for all different restaurants and things. But you know me and my cafe. Broken Egg stuff. Cafe, fantastic. This is a really pretty bowl down here that I need to look closer at. Look at that. Who does you? Industrious Ceramica Ironstone, Sam. Giovanni Valdarmo, Italy. That's kind of a fancy little uh, thing going on down there. I just love it. I love the colors. It does have a lot of chipping on the edge, though. Darn it. Darn it. I mean, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of chipping. So, so yeah, we're going to have to pass that one. As much as I hate passing really pretty stuff like that. These have a Temptations look to them. <gasps> looky, looky. So I'm not sure what pattern this is, but for $3.99 each, we'll grab those. Let's see a piece up here. Oh, hobby piece. Just somebody put their initial. Carrie's over there wheeling and dealing with somebody about her booth. What is this cute little guy down here? I don't know who makes that. It's another really sweet little piece. Oh, I see a pig. A very rustic metal pig that opens up in the back to hold a candle. He is $4. Oh, he's got some patina you can only get from living outside and seeing some sights. Let's see what else we got here. Are those strawberries? Or raspberries. Those are also made in Italy. That's got a big crack. That's too bad. But look at the look at the little porcelain pottery hen on nest. Not porcelain. Definitely not porcelain. Ceramic. It's got a big chip. It's got a big chip in the back. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's got a big crack in it. There. Is another piece of that Temptations. Now I don't generally pick up the mugs or do much with the mugs, but I may need this to make a lot if that isn't um, super high value. So I will pick that up for $3.99. We've got a cute little, uh, what looks to be a Nicole Miller. Yes, Nicole Miller home. Teacup and saucer for six bucks. I think I'll peek and see how much this one is worth. So, there's one listed for 12 bucks, so we're gonna, we're gonna put that back. Who makes these? Chicken soup for the soul? Chicken soup for the soul mugs? Oh, those are so cool, and there's two of them? You know, I gotta look those up. Well, I found one for, you know, sold for 12 bucks a piece, so if I pair them up, that should be about a $25 lot, so I'm gonna grab those. So I picked up a strawberry, was it? I don't know. Yesterday's video. I don't know. I can't even keep track of which video is which. Um, and now here's all of these. And what I found by, from that one is that it's, um, I don't think this is exactly the same, but Mikasa makes a strawberry thing. But what's intriguing about this is the fact that there's four small bowls and one large bowl. So it's a whole berry set. So that would be four, eight, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19. $22. $22. See, I don't think I can do it for $22. But then there's this little single one that looks different. Um, this one's only $2.99. And this might be the Mikasa one. But yeah, I'm going to get another one. What I failed to realize is that is a gray tag, which means it's half price. So yeah, yeah, that's coming home. And then, back here, this looks... Oh, I thought it was Italian. It is a hobby piece. All right, and I... I'm super sorry. Uh, I, I guess I said in one of my last videos that I was going to update you all on my butter dish. And I totally forgot to update you at the end of that video and I've been leaving you hanging. Yes, it finally arrived. And uh, I will insert a little video clip of that butter dish right here. It's the moment of truth. The moment. <laughs> we've been waiting for well it's not rattling that's a good sign 
Oh my goodness. Not easy one-handed. Ta-da! That took a lot longer to get than I ever anticipated. It's also much smaller than I thought it was gonna be. It's not really even real like butter dish size. It's small butter dish size. It's got the little M.A. Hadley on the bottom. Would I order from this company again? I would not. I would not. I just, I just can't even fathom going through anything like that again. But it's here. Yay! Okay, this is the little tea set I was pointing out to sunny Las Vegas. Really, really pretty, but that, that's a mess. That's just a mess. And those candle holders are cool, but they're $10 each. These are pretty cool. These little toast coasters. Are toast coasters like a thing? Because I kind of love these. Who makes them? They are just decor. Greenbrier. They're like dollar store. They're like dollar store. <laughs> Super cute though. Do like them. They have a ton of cookware and it's not really my thing, but I do look out for anything that looks kind of vintage that could be worth something. That looks like it's missing its bottom part. And then we're over here. Tea kettles. I do kind of take a peek at some of the tea kettles. Nothing too exciting there. I just remember my grandmother cooking with this copper-based cookware. I don't know if it was exactly that one, but it just brings back memories. I'm still on the hunt maybe for that, um, is it the Le Creuset brand, the, the little lid that I'm missing. Oh, that's plastic, not glass. All right. They have a bunch of mugs here on an end cap that I'm kind of peeking through. These are pretty. Who does you? Cabela's Morning Mist by Abby May. Those are actually really pretty. I might look those up. I might look those up. So those are intriguing. Oh, look at this little kind of steampunky stopwatch, pocket watch, little demi-tasse, but I don't see anything else that is super exciting. I could not find any sold or active comps on the mugs. I saw another mug pattern, the Cabela's, that sold for $36 for a set of four, so I'm I'm tempted. It would be a $12 investment, and if I could triple my money, that would be okay. I really am pulled by these, and I think somebody else might be too, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get them. Well, see, these, again, like, for people that buy on emotion and not, like, the brand recognition, I mean, come on. Ooh. That's curious. Woof, woof. Um, but these are mainstays, which are a target kind of a brand. But there is, there is a pair. Oh. There is a pair. Is this you, Mikey? What are you finding over there? Mr. Handsome Devil. Mr. Handsome Devil. That's what SPSC would say. Are you, are you buttering him up to buy lunch? <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to get him. All right, this matches my other little Santa piece. It is also that Spectrum Designs brand. So ho, 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 Santa's going in the cart. Okay, here's the plastics. I just want to sit here and like organize their plastics by color because it's so much more fun to shop it that way. But no can do, no can do. They'll have to do it themselves. Let's see what we got. And they, there's a song up on the radio right now that was like my high school song. It's so funny. 
What are you? You are a little doll? Or a, oh, you're a wine, wine stopper. That's really cute. Oh. Okay. Let's see what we got in the bowls. All right, we got a price tag right over the mark. So, oh no, that's it's Victoria Borges. Hmm. You know, because Mikey's streaming live, I could go have some of his viewers look these up for me. I think I'm going to go do that. Let's go find him. We can get some on the spot pick it or pass it research oh, going oh, here. I love that Route 66 mug. Okay, here are some little watermelon bowls. These are Victoria Bor Borges, B-O-R-G-E-S. I need to know, are these a bag it at two bucks a piece? They're super cute. Super, super cute. cute. All right, you guys get those, right. get, get those fingers going for me. Nothing worse than going home and editing a video and realizing you left something really good behind. <laughs> oh, I've been there. Oh, we got some pasta here. Napolitana Bolognese. Did I say that? Was that good? Was that it good was Italian? You no, know me, it was good, but I heard last time I tried Edge to do something on your channel, I didn't do it right. Yeah, I, I mess it up all the time. Yeah. All the time. Optima. Christopher Stewart. Angles. Nelly said in Vegas, you were gambling on... <laughs> Gamble, it's all a gamble. It is all a gamble. We've got a fox hunt print. Oh, of course, it's half price. So it would be five fifty for the fox hunt. I do like that. I don't normally buy plates, but that's horses and dogs. I'm getting it. All right, now we are in the glass section. I'm going to have to go hit the textiles really hard to try to find some stuff to wrap all this. Although I think they do have paper at this store, if I remember. Well, last time I came they did. There's no telling if it's still still that way. Oh, look at this. This isn't just a little cactus. It's got a little siesta guy sleeping under the cactus. How cute is that? I wish there was two. Let me get over here and see. I see some of the regular cactus ones. I really should just start picking those up and selling them too because I find them all the time. I could just keep replenishing, 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 and selling more. I think I might do that. And Rachel really loves those too. So, all right. So this one is not priced. That one's $249 and $349. I wonder if they adjust prices because there's two of them at $249. I feel like they should all be the same price. These are interesting uh, Disarano Etro glasses, but these are also $250 a piece. So I just don't know. I don't know about that one. Got the cute little German mug here, German glass mug. He's half price, so he'd only be $4. It's kind of cute, but I think I think I'm gonna pass on that one too. Do you have a thing for the I, the these are so hard to ship multiples yes, in a reasonable are. size box. Oh my gosh. Yeah, ah, yes, uh, yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you're even pointing that out to me. Well, you just sold I try to be a little reasonable. Oh, you do. All right, I don't see anything else exciting here. Do you, Carrie? These are kind of fun. Oh, they are with the palm. Oh, those are. Oh, those are kind of bougie. Yeah, they are cut, cut glass palm tree glasses for three fifty a piece. And is there four of them? No, there's more than four. There's one, two, three, four, five, five. All right, let's look them up. Okay, they are a company called Rolf. 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 R O. R O oh. R O L F. Okay. Right. We're who like next not, to <laughs> I don't know what to do with this woman. Okay. Yeah, we're going to pick them up. There are five of them. We're going to dig and make sure there's only five and not six, but $3.49 a piece. 
We heard a little rumor that we might have a discount today too, so stand by for that. Stand by. Okay, I need to start looking at some soft stuff because my cart is a little bit scary right now. <laughs> so let's look at some pillows. Got some cute um, music, kind of music themed. These are $6 each. You guys know how I love to sell the pillows. Oops. I will put that back up when I turn the camera off. Never fear. What I'm looking for is a maker on these music ones. To see. They don't feel super high quality, but they also feel like they could go outdoors. And sometimes the outdoor pillows don't feel like a high quality pillow because they're not soft. They're more canvassy. Okay. Stand by. I'm going to peek. Well, I couldn't find a maker. I opened it up, looked on the inside. The thing about it is I could take the pillow forms out and just sell the pillow covers themselves too. But I think six bucks a piece, we're going to pick them up. And this little guy is a seahorse, but he's not, I don't really like the way he looks. He's throw by Marlo Lorenz. No, I mean, that does sound like a bougie name. He's, he's only $5. All right. What? Oh, is that another music themed one? Yay. It's a piano. So there's four music themed ones all together. Now I'm seeing reserved for the dog. You know, I... Do you think they would read that if I put that on the couch and they would stay off my bird pillows? <laughs> All right, now we really need to look for some soft stuff. <laughs> you know, cloth uh, fabric shower curtains can do spectacularly well on eBay. I used to sell them quite a bit and then I got more and more into like glass and collectibles. But if you've ever bought that stuff new, you know how expensive it is. Uh, and then we've got Spider-Man. We have the Spider-Man towel. He's really nice quality too. Is he a Marvel? No, he's Spider-Man Marvel. Yeah. That's nice. What are you tweeting? Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. So I was looking at the sheets over here and I found these and I recognized right away that these are Littlest Pet Shop. Now if it had the fitted it would be great, uh, but it's, are they curtains they're or it's curtains sheep? Curtains. Are you sure? Yep, look. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, I was looking up sheet. Well, I guess I better look up curtains. Like, so a set of, a set of sheets sells for about 20 bucks. So, oops, and I just knocked that off the hanger. Okay. I'm gonna have to look up what the curtain sells for now. Okay, they're a pass. Sells for about, you know, $15, but I just thought that was a kind of a nostalgic find. Placemats. I have some coasters that match these. If there was four, I would have grabbed those, but there's only three. Only three. It's really tough to sell three coasters. You can sell two coasters, but co I'm saying coasters, placemats. Um, but you're going to get a lot less money for two. That's why I'm always looking for the four or the six or the eight in sets. It's because of the price point. And I just found another one of my favorite kind of throws. Uh, I got to tell you, the dogs really, really love the one that I got before. This one is a Pure One Imports. I'm looking for the price. It is $9.99. I am sure that is a good deal. Then there's this little quilt. It's got wolves running. It's only $5. So Carrie's going to take it. Well, good. You can... You can open it up and show us. Oh, it's another it's another pillow that goes with the pillows. Sweet. For $1.99. There is the one that she's wolf howling, which you probably can't hear because of the microphone situation. But yeah, that's a pretty cool handmade little quilt for five bucks. All right, let's look at the lamps. I spotted this little piggy bank lamp here. He looks like the Toy Story pig, doesn't he? 20 bucks on that though. I'm surprised Mikey and uh, Sunny Las Vegas haven't come and picked up the uh, beer kit. Let's see. Oh, look at that big tall lamp. That is a baseball bat. What's Carrie spotting over here? Ooh, that's kind of pretty. That's actually really pretty. For ten dollars, I'm I'm very encouraged that. Uh, Savers has turned around their high pricing. 
and this can be a viable place to shop once again. See? Oh, it's one of those gigantic keyboard play mats. I don't know if those are worth some money, but who makes this one? It's, um, what does it say? Gigantic keyboard play mat. No, I don't want to take it all the way out. Click and play. I was just taking a peek at it. Holy Spamoni, Batman. That is a lava lamp. That thing is gigantic for $60. Yeah, it's in the cart. This is Disney, and I have no idea what movie this is from. Do you? There's a face under there. <laughs> He's a grumpy character. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It just says Disney. It's Disney. Oh, did you find, you found Man Bun Ken. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't even know Man Bun Ken existed. <laughs> They have a gigantic wall of toys in bags. It is crazy. I mean, if this was your thing, you would be in heaven shopping through all this stuff right now. Plus everything in these little bags would be so easy to ship. So this is not my niche, so I don't look too hard at it. I do look for things like the My Little Ponies. Those have been colored um, really bad. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of stuff here and just baggy, baggy, baggied up. Baggy, baggy, baggied up. Goodness. I still just love this book so much. I just found two fur real friends. And I know these can be kind of pricey, but uh, even if these are not, I know a little girl who would really love that little horse. So $3.99, we're going to grab this bag. Of course, I spotted the turtle too. I don't know who he is. He's just a cute little turtle for $2.99. I swear this chick follows me everywhere I go. She keeps turning up and then she just stares at me with that blank, blank stare. You go find your own store to shop at, lady. I found this super cute little plush bee. He's a Mammy Goma, Mammy Gama. Unfortunately, they only sell for about 10 bucks and he's six, so we can't do that. I did find a Squishmallow. I think he's a unicorn based on his little horn right there. But he is filthy. He's well loved. He's well loved. Yes, he's a he's a filthy, filthy boy, um, or girl. Maybe it's a girl. I don't know. Anyway, seven ninety nine, and the labor and time that's needed to clean it up, we're gonna put this one back on the shelf. I did end up with this little velveteen rabbit because it matches those Christmas stockings that I got. And he's just really sweet for $1.99. And I'm just thinking, this is the Cox Cable mascot. And uh, it make a really good voodoo doll for when the internet goes out. And we want to curse it. Okay, there she be. The very, very packed full cart from Savers. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? So I guess I'm back to putting Savers on the, uh, the old route. Here's my cart. There's Carrie's cart. And there's Mikey Bags and Bunny's cart. <laughs> so it was a good day. Now we're gonna go get something to eat. I forgot it's self checkout at this store. Mikey's showing me how it's done. Oh yeah, and no bags unless we buy them. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. Oh.
there's my total. There's my total. Ouch. All right, that was fun though. Well, that probably was a little bit different video than you're used to seeing with all like kind of the cutting in while Mikey was live and, and all of that. That, I, I, I think my attitude about savers is a little bit changed. Now, the thing you have to understand, savers is not a nonprofit. And I know that going in, I have dealt with the savers from the donation end. So what they do is they purchase things from nonprofits. They run fund drives is what they call it. And they pay by the pound for goods that other true nonprofits bring to them. You have to be a nonprofit to sell things to savers. So I know how all that works. And uh, they seem to be pricing much more reasonably now. So this is a big example of a business that apparently was watching their numbers, was listening to what was being said, and has made a turnaround. Because uh, I will be back. I don't know about you, Carrie, but I'll be back Holy to Savers. Holy smokes. It was fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. I had to put some stuff back, unfortunately, because I went way over my limit. And this particular store, I'm going to have to say I appreciate that they're the donation portion that Danny just explained is for big brothers, big sisters. My kids participated in that when they were young, and I love that well, organization. They, no, they they yeah. will take donations for from. I love it. Good. From any nonprofit because I did it through yeah. was my church. Oh yeah, that's right. So the fun right. drives are any nonprofit can participate. Yeah, but they do something else with. You're right. The big brothers and big sisters love of them. Southern Nevada. I don't know. I'm going to dig in and figure out what they actually right. do. They probably give like a little percentage or something. They do something. Good. It's a beautiful organization. Yeah. They deserve it. So, But they are a for-profit, and they make no bones about it. There's actually a disclaimer that plays over the radio that says we are not, and actually said we are not associated with any nonprofit, but yet then they have, like, donate to a nonprofit here. Like, so that's a little confusing. <laughs> but, uh, but it's all good, because you know what? I, the bottom line is, as a reseller, you have to go where you can find things to resell. And if the Goodwills are not providing enough stuff, mm -hmm. then you gotta go where you can get the stuff. So we're gonna put Savers back on the route. And we just found out it was, it's 25% off for what they call their club members on Thursday. So it was 25% off, which was spectacular. Fabulous. I, I did spend a pretty penny. I did. I spent a less penny. I did. One third of your penny. <laughs> but I will get about 150 bucks just for that that lava lamp monstrosity. Oh, I, yeah. I'm not shipping that. That is going to the booth. <laughs> Sorry, people. That is so going to the booth. No. I might enjoy it for a little while first. I think you should. I think we're going to set it up like in the workroom and, Ooh. you know, oh. and all kind of like we'll be... mellow out to the lava lamp. and. Oh, more ghosts. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. We're going to go get a bite to eat. You go be profitable and make it fun. <laughs>